What is going on guys? Thanks for stopping back here to the channel. If it's your first time here, go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button. But today I'm going to be working on a older Tundra and we are going to be going and putting our rear diff cover on on these older trucks. They do not have bolt on ones, they have weld on ones. And this one is about ready, it's leaking so badly because it's so thin now, more so thin. So we are going to be going and changing out that cover, cutting it off, putting a new one on, welding it on, and all that good stuff today in this video. So yeah, guys, we're gonna jump into it, probably gonna time lapse a bunch of this, cutting her off, getting her all cleaned up, and welding her back on, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into getting her removed.
guys she is all completed up i got the cover all welded on she's filled up with oil for the most part and all that good stuff just gonna slap a little bit of paint on her and she will be good it was a little hard to go and get it cut off and cleaned up that was the longest part trying to just get it cut off cleaned up and good to go but it did take me about a little more than three hours to get it all uh cut off cleaned up and it took me about 20 minutes or so to get her welded back on her and she's good now guys so she is good to rock and roll hope this uh video helped you guys if you guys want to see how i did it i did have to go and take the upper brake line cable i unbolted it up here there's a bolt over here over here there's a bolt over here and then the one on top i just picked it up and put it on the upper side of the drive shaft or the rear end that way there wasn't no issues there and worry about accidentally nicking that so that is all taken care of guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you guys and i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed day everyone